stop hypocrisy. Harry got terrible mockers slapped on heartbreaking words about Invictus Games. Three more members of the Invictus Games community have died in Russia's devastating invasion of Ukraine. The Invictus Games Foundation said on Friday that three further members of its community have been killed in Vladimir Putin's war in Ukraine. Prince Harry founded the Invictus Games to aid the rehabilitation of injured or sick military personnel and veterans from across the globe, by giving them the challenge of competing in sporting events similar to the Paralympics. The foundation said Dmitry Olenik and Vladimir Motelchuk both died in rocket attacks on Mikolayu on March 29. Sergei Smiling died in service on March 18. It comes after the foundation announced that former trialist Serhi Karyevan died fighting on March 13. The foundation said in a statement on its website, following the news of Serhi Karajvan on March 13, the Invictus Games Foundation is extremely saddened to learn of the deaths of three further members of the Invictus community in Ukraine. Dmitry Olenik and Vladimir Motelchuk both died in rocket attacks on Mikolayu on March 29. Sergei Smilin died in service on March 18, he was buried March 31. Our thoughts are with their families, teammates and the wider community. All were Warrior Games trialists and competitors, and whilst they were not preparing for the Invictus Games The Hague 2020, they were all extremely active in the international Invictus community on the We Are Invictus platform competing in events over the past year including the virtual London Marathon, and online rowing championships. We encourage our community to continue to look out for one another online, as sad news continues to emerge, as many will have had the opportunity to compete alongside Team Ukraine virtually or in previous Invictus Games. The foundation previously said it was aware of many Ukrainian Invictus competitors, injured in the conflict with Russia which began in 2014, and staff and team management signing up to serve again. When the death of Mr. Karyevans was confirmed last month, Oksan Horbach, manager for the Ukrainian Invictus Games team, said, it was tough to learn about Serhii's death as the fighting continues. When we win, we will celebrate his life, talk about him, and his sense of humor, professionalism, patriotism and sports endeavors. And we will hug and cry and laugh because the memories of him bring joy and happiness. Please do not think of him as a martyr, he would not like it. Think of him as a celebrated Invictus Games community member, hero and defender of Ukrainian people. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were the only members of the royal family to miss Prince Philip's memorial service, with the Queen, Prince Andrew, Prince Charles, Kate Middleton and the rest of the firm in attendance. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are aware their decision not to comment on Prince Philip's memorial service could be seen as petulant and rude, a royal expert has claimed. The couple decided against returning for the UK to honour the Duke of Edinburgh's life at the emotional Westminster Abbey service. The Queen, Princes Andrew, and Charles, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and little George and Charlotte were among the 1,800 strong congregation yesterday. However the Sussexes decided not to attend and also opted against releasing a statement or a tribute to Harry's grandfather to mark the day. The announcement came amid a row over his security in the UK, with Harry saying it wasn't safe for him to bring his family here. Royal expert Ingrid Seward, author of Prince Philip Revealed, tells she believes their silence speaks volumes. She said, the wall of silence was as loud as if they had shouted from the abbey rafters. The normally verbose Duke and Duchess of Sussex said nothing. No spokesperson spewed out long sentences of undecipherable wordage. There were no flowers with the florist's name proudly displayed. No comments from Archwell. Nothing. Not even a word from their supporters on various social media accounts.